hey 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 beautiful people listen i don't even know where to look at the the, the screen so um uh, uh the vice president who is the president elect is on right now so i thought it would be a good time for me to just come on because for whatever reason when he comes on i'm relaxed <laughs> you know i'm feeling good um so i just want to talk to you a little bit because Sometimes you have to think outside of the box or think as if there is no box at all. And I know that I uh, have a goal of 100 videos uh, in, what, 12 days, 21 days, whatever, how many days it is. And it, sometimes you just have to follow the data. And the data is dictating that there are so many of you that are out there who have looked at this video. I think it was maybe 50 or 60 views that I got within the past couple of days uh, for the videos about work, about getting promotions, about becoming more visible. And I want to talk to you guys for a minute and then I'm going to address some others as well. I want to let you know that you are the opportunity, that you are the, the opportunity that you're looking for. You are the job that you constantly have to work on day after day. This is not a one shot deal. It's not where you just pick up, um, let me turn this down. It's not where you just pick up a pen or you pick up a video and you numb your whole renge kill for five minutes. This is something that you have to work on every single day of your life because repetition is the thing that breeds the success that you're looking for. And you are that success. You have the privilege and the opportunity to be with yourself 365 days of the year, every single day, every single moment. Nobody else gets that more than you do. So I want you to just understand that you have so much power to not just bring into yourself, but to emanate from you. Because some of the jobs, some of the positions, some of the projects that we manifest in our lives, we do that because of what's emanating and what's flowing through us. Even today, um, I received an invitation from a big, big company um, here in New York. And it was as a result of doing what? Being myself, right? Now, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm about that life. I'm about getting my own, you know? And so working for other people is not that thing. But because I manifested such a huge company and I know that those kind of eyeballs are on me, it's just a green light for me to keep doing what I'm doing, to keep uh, uh, making sure that there, I'm putting myself in front of people who actually need me, who actually want me from time to time, okay? And for those who can benefit from what I need to say or that I want to say. And yes, I am going full, you know, you know, I'm going to do this all myself on my, my video today because I want you to know some of you are going through what you're going through because you need to see that you are the opportunity that you're looking for. Uh, and whoever wants to take on this challenge, I want you to go ahead and do it. And I want you to challenge yourself to make a video every single day about something that interests you. Because chances are, if it interests you, you're going to have some people who are interested in what it is that you have to say. All of us have a voice and all of us have something to say. Every one of us has an opinion. And, uh, you know, YouTube is a space and a place for you to do that. And, you know, just post up where your video is and we will support you. That's it. That's what your job is at this particular time to make sure that you are focused on the things that you are interested in. Um, that's the perfect way to find a mate. Yeah, the best, the best relationships come when they are found or people are found doing the things that they really love to do. Ever met somebody in, in, in a grocery store or while you were shopping or while you were out doing something that you weren't even thinking about, oh, I need a man or I need a woman or whatever it tickles your fancy. Listen, do the things that are interesting to you. Make sure you laugh every single day. That is my mantra. Look at me. Does this face look like it was made to look be a sourpuss? Every single day, find something to laugh about. Some of us have cable stations and, and have never seen 
half of the, the, the shows that are on those channels. Go and look up genres like comedy, genres that interest you again, because when you become more interested in things that you're interested in, you become more interesting and you'll have things to talk about with people who are just like you. So where am I going? I'm going all in one place that you have to feel good. I don't care what kind of job you're looking for. I don't care how long it is that you've been looking for. I do not care. What I care about is your well-being and that when that job opportunity comes your way, it doesn't find you in a place of desperation. It'll it'll find you in a place of absolute satisfaction. Yeah, that job is coming my way. Um, that's good, but I'm sitting here watching my 17th, uh, 17,000th episode of, you know, Law and Order SVU, right? So make sure that you elevate your energy for where it is that you want to be. Somebody said something that was so profound, and I think she quoted it from Jack Canfell, and she said, um, you know, write down what you want, put what you want in front of you. And you will get what you want in front of you. Did I write it down? Hold on. Let me not try to go off the dome. What did she say? What did she say? Oh, my goodness. I don't even see it here. But it was something to the effect of what it is that you want. Put it in front of you. Well, why would I be able to say that? Lord God, just help me, Jesus. Okay, so what she was saying was basically put what you want in front of you so that you can see it. Because when you can see what's in front of you, you can get it. So you remember back in the day where Auntie Oprah told us about the vision boards? And I'm sure that she didn't come up with that concept. It was probably somebody else. But... Take what you want. Listen, of course it came from somebody else because I remember as a little kid, we used to take, you know, rip things out of the magazines and then put them on, you know, make the little paper mache things. <laughs> Do the same thing. And right now there's so much technology where you can cut and paste and put it on a document and then print it out, right? And make it look nice. But the things that you desire, because I don't want you to always go back to the job. I don't want you to always go back to somebody having the power to give something to you because if they can give it to you, they can take it from you. And that's why a lot of you also need to be looking into starting your own businesses as well. But, and if you need that, I can give you resources for that as well. But what I'm telling you is Start trusting and believing in the power that you already have because you do. If you're on this station, there is no way, shape or form that you don't have what you need in order to get where you need to go. No way, no way, no way. So what I want to tell you is to um, take the things that you want. Why do you want the job? Let's do it right now. Why do you want the job? What's going to happen to you if you don't get the job? You might say, I won't be able to pay my bills. Well, how do you feel when you pay your bills? Do you like paying your bills? I love paying my bills. I'm just one of these weird people like, look, I'm going to keep the government and everybody else off my back. Here's your money, right? So how does it feel to pay your bills? Can you feel that way? And is there a, no, not can you feel that way? I know that you can feel that way without paying your bills. And you're going to tell me right now, I'm going to prove it. When else do you feel as good as when you pay your bills? Is it when you get money? So it's not about the job. It's about you getting money. How many other ways can you get money? Or tell me, is having the job the only way you can get the money? Ding, 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 ding. Shout out to Alex watching over us. There are so many ways that you can get the finances, you can get the resources, you can get the people who are around you that'll be able to support you in your dreams so that you can have everything that you need in order to make sure 
that you pay your bills. Well, what do you need to pay your bills for? Is it because you want to stay in your house? Is it because you want to stay in your apartment? Is it because you want to pay off your student loans? God bless you. I understand that. <laughs> Is it because you have people depending on you? Okay. Those are the things that you have to look at and ask yourself, are there any other times when you have felt satisfied without having those things? And I can almost guarantee you that you have other moments in your life that are equally, if not more important than you just having the job. Because I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of people, and I know you've heard this. If you have heard this, you can really post it up in the notes. Now, here's where my amateurish way comes in. Because <laughs> I have no idea how to hold this. But my arm is getting tired. But have you ever heard people say that the reason why... Uh, all of us are caught at home right now is because too many people put out in the universe that they tired of going to a job that they can't stand. Have you heard that? <laughs> I believe that partially, right? Because when we have had enough, we have had enough. And a lot of us have been on jobs that we just didn't want to be on. We knew that we were taking advantage of. We didn't even realize how much work we were actually doing until somebody asked us to update or give them a, um, an updated version of our resume. And when we looked at our resume measured against what it is that we really do, because what happens is you look on your resume and you remember that you updated your resume with the new position, right? And the new position is now you've been here 10, 15 years and you got what? An 8% raise over eight years. And then you look back at the resume and it's like, wait a minute, I do more than this. But would you ask for the raise? And see, that's where the problem is. And so if we can get you to a place where you can really look in your life or look at your life and say, you know what? Let me take an assessment of what I really do on this job. And I want you to go online and to see, and some of your minds are going to get blown. I didn't even plan on doing this video. I promise you. Your mind is going to be blown when you put in Google search some of the line items that you do on your quote unquote job that you're looking for a promotion for. And you have to go through the valley of the shadow of death in order to get a raise or even another position. And you are going to see how, how much more you are worth. And you sit in the box with a lot of people who are entrepreneurs as well, because if they're entrepreneurs that are looking at this and you're looking to improve your business, you're looking to get, uh, become an influencer or partner with influencers, you are going to see something very, very strange that we all meet in the same place. We undervalue what we do, whether it's for ourselves or whether it's for others. So I just wanted to come and to, I, I, I'm really not someone who's a motivational speaker, but I am an empowerment uh, specialist. And I believe that if I can't empower you, if I can't, you know, put a fire up under your bottom for you to just get up and understand that you are more than you think you are. And you are so capable. You are so very cap capable of creating the world that you want. You don't need any outside resources for that until you recognize and get very clear on who you are internally. So for those of you who are looking for the jobs, for those of you who are looking for partnerships, for your uh, independent uh, contracts that you're doing and you're working on, I tell you, you have the power to do it. Now, your job is to believe it. And when you believe it, I want you to get off this, this, this situation right after you listen to this. And maybe you want to listen to it again so you can catch what I said. Cause I don't even say, I don't even know what I said, but I want you to go through that process of writing it down. What do I do? And what am I the absolute bees knees at? And how can I turn that into an opportunity for myself? Cause here's, here's something that's going to blow your mind. You don't even need a need a job to make money. You want the job to be secure, but how secure is it if somebody could snatch it from you at any given time? I work in New York City. I've worked in New York City, which is a no-fault state. New York is a no-fault state where if I can go in and, and I have on a different color shoes that someone doesn't like, I could be fired for that. 
So that's too much power. And and it, it took me, what, all of eight years, 10 years for me to realize that in my 20s. And when I crossed over into my 30s, I was like, never again. Never again will you tell me that I can't come in. And I know my work is the bee's knees. Try not to curse. So for you others as well, there are people who are out there who are um, interested in... Um, uh, 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 fulfilling, uh, subliminal, and we're going to put that together for you guys about pain. Something was said yesterday that I heard and it blew my mind because I have always said, uh, I think I was watching fat, sick and nearly dead. And I heard uh, a minister say the body was not created to be sick. And we have so many situations and circumstances that happen to us that leave us in a lurch. And there are traumatic things that have happened to us through no fault of our own that leave us vulnerable to outside forces. So those of you who are holding on to traumas and holding on to pain, that's not your fault. That's something that has been indoctrinated into you. That's something that has been put on you and we can get that off. But I want you to realize this today, that the body doesn't actually get sick. It is the brain that sends the sick. It's the brain, right? As if the brain is not part of the body. But the, the concept is that your brain is so awesome that it'll send you signals immediately that there is a dysfunction in the body because pain is a sign of dysfunction. It's a symptom, right? And so what you need to know is that you're in a good space because if your brain is still operating, then your brain has the power to heal whatever it is that where the dysfunction is in your body. So if we're talking about trauma, if we're talking about pain, if we talk, listen, I've gone through some pain over the past couple of weeks physically. And let me tell you something, when you line everything up to what you know, it's like you have to leave. You have to leave. You have to go. So that's another show. But I just wanted you to know your brain, you are so fearfully and wonderfully made that your brain, as long as your brain is still working, if you feel the pain, you're in a good place because you can change your mind. And when you change your mind, you can change a whole lot of things for you, not for anybody else, but for you. So I'll see you in a few. I don't know if it's going to be today or or the next day, but I have to, I'm bent on getting these videos out, but I just want to talk to you for a little bit. So I'll talk to you in a minute. I think I'm going to name this untitled, get your money. <laughs> and that, that's it. Because if you have your health, you have your wealth. Oh, that's another one. But I'll talk to you later on. Love, love, love. You inspire me.